Welcome back to another video guys and we bought something we weren't sure that we were gonna buy but we ended up buying it and we wanted to show you guys how we're gonna pack it out and we're mm -hmm. gonna see how it works because we don't even know if it's still gonna fit. Yeah I'm excited to see. Me too and it's a Yeti gearbox go box thing the 61 oh it's so heavy. Here let me get it. Yeah <laughs> this is what we got. Yep. Do you like it Chansey? She likes it. She yes, probably she wants to go in it. She probably does. <laughs> so we got this guy on sale at Sportsman Warehouse. Is I think it was. Like that. Yeah. yeah. So that we got it for two fifty. Mm -hmm. So what's great is that it does not come with a Ryobi. No, it does not. <laughs> so that's what we have packed in there. But it comes with high chancy. Mm -hmm. It comes with a big zipper pocket yeah. up top that we have in the lid. And then it also has three different little zipper pockets too. Then we have a gear box thing here that we can put stuff in, obviously the whole thing, and then a divider. So this is the Yeti Loadout Go Box 60, and it, usually they're 300, but we got it on sale for 250. So we weren't gonna complain. So let's see if we can fit what we need to in this little box. Kind of our ideal is to get it back in this little corner over here where we have like our toolbox, our axe, our dead man gear, our tube, couch, and seeing if we can fit all of this kind of in this section here with that loadout box. So we're gonna get everything packed in here that we think we can to give us more room and see how that goes. Most of the gear is laid out now. So we've got our tool kit, mm -hmm. we've got the fire torch, fire starters, the gloves, our Demos shovel, mm -hmm. and then recovery gear. Recovery gear. Dead man recovery gear. Yep, with yep. the kinetic rope in there. We've got the axe and the saw. Mm -hmm. We've got paracord. We also have our hammock gear right here. We also have a Stratlet, which is also by Front Runner. We only have one because the other two are technically latched up front for our Dometic water when we have it. Mm -hmm. We also have an Eco Boost as well too for our battery. Probably which, needs to be charged. Which needs to be charged. Yeah. <laughs> this is also a tool that comes when you buy your van to be able to get your lug nuts off. Uh, so, I was like, I don't remember what it's for. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what this is for. Mm -hmm. um, so you get this hammock gear and then our tube pillow. So we're going to see how well this fits in to the loadout go box. Yeah. And like, we'll as see. we mentioned, we brought this from home. Mm -hmm. So this is an impact drill. So this is what we had for our forerunner too. And this is to make your life easier for one, if you just happen to need tools in general, mm -hmm. two, to get the lug nuts off of your tire until you can go get them torqued correctly or put them back on. So we do have this. Ooh. We're gonna take the box off for now. Probably this too. Take that off yeah. now. Ooh, it's in there. Yep, there you go. There we go. So probably what we're gonna do first is take out, either that, take it out, or see if it fits. I think it might be just too big. Oh, if it's it okay awesome i'll take it then our tool roll which is the heaviest hands down yeah all of our tools we're gonna put in the side as well too snug them in there together maybe if not we can take this out yeah let's take that out first let's see if it's oh do you want to take it out of the bag or just leave that in. take that out put this in and then see if we can put that next to it yeah so we also have a multimeter too that we've learned from like our electrical problems that we've had um, we also have this too that we keep here in the van mm -hmm. i think we have the um the code reader too we do it's in there oh it's in here yeah okay so do you want to keep this in the bag or if we can keep it in the bag i think it would be nice okay yeah we'll just have to figure out how to make them play nice Are you okay if I roll this sideways? Yes. Okay. 
So now we've got so now we've got the dead man recovery gear in there and our tool roll in there. And of course, Chancey being a ham. You want to? You want to go in it? Of course, you want to go in there. Oh, you kicked it! You kicked it! I'm gonna say the next thing is probably going. So the way that we're trying to pack this is obviously things on the bottom are what we don't need mm -hmm. really at all. So I would say this guy, if anything. Okay, this guy. Probably that guy. Yeah. So. over just a little yeah all right put him there mm -hmm. probably either that or tucked up against the side laid down probably yeah would be good, i think either way yeah, I think on the side yeah. would be good there so he's got him tucked in there mm -hmm. and then obviously the axe is going to stay on top That's for on top. sure maybe the shovel next Maybe it might be able to lay flat like right That's here on thinking. top. But maybe here? Or do we want to go on that I'd probably side? go over on this side. Okay, so maybe. Because put... we'll have this side by the door. Okay. So that way I can open this. Makes sense. And if we can get this to sit over here and. Perfect. -ish. Almost. I think with a little bit of force with the tool roll, it should be good. Yeah, once it settles, it yeah. should be good. So, because I think we kind of want to set it up like that mm -hmm. so that way like fire starts and everything can be easy to okay. grab in there let me grab those real quick and granted this is not going to be like an easy fix all whatever this might be some tweaking we have to do i'm sure there will be some tweaking yeah we're going to do so just because you never know how you're going to use something anyway until you start using it yeah so these on the bottom. I like that. Okay, I like that. All right. And mm -hmm. I think you just want to be mindful of things that you put in this as well too, especially up on like the top here because it's got a little bit of push, but I feel like you're putting something like this in where we go to close it. You know what I mean? Like it's going to mm -hmm. need some like force down. Yeah. Just be aware of that as well too. Yeah. It has a little bit of like a indent here yeah maybe less than an inch yeah um, so you have a little bit of room but yeah yeah I'm guessing here we probably could just probably show that right in, here down in the bottom yeah. here yeah yeah and probably this can go in there too yeah so what you can do with these is you can actually unhook this oh that's nice yep I didn't so, know you could do that yeah so you can unhook this make it into two parts mm -hmm. and then that way you have a separation but it also has because obviously we have Caps. a lot of dust here in Arizona you can also cap these mm -hmm. so which is great because then you don't have to worry about them being you don't have to worry about them being apart yeah and getting stuff in them it so one of the nice things about this though is yeah. it's supposed to keep the dust the dirt the water yeah. out yeah. when you close it it does have a gasket along yeah. the side here we're not too concerned with that obviously because we're not going on a boat which people use these on boats mm -hmm. this is mainly mostly for dust yeah. but anything that's already in here has already been exposed to the dust which is mm -hmm. fine yeah. so we're just going to shove this in the side here then oh you little shit <laughs> thank you uh-huh i got a special shirt for you later <laughs> so then a stratlet. Okay, stratlet going up top. Yeah. Probably the best Keep ideal for that. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see the shovel now mm -hmm. too. So what we're hoping on too is like this is gonna fit lengthwise and not smush Chancey's bed a lot. I hope so. That's what we're hoping for. We kind of measured, we think we have an ideal, so but this makes it a lot easier too, because for us using this we get our stuff in and out of the van a lot yeah and this makes it easier rather than grabbing all of this separately just to grab it in one big pool so oh, look at that perfect boom mm -hmm. 
side. Do you want to dig on this side? Yeah. Or do you think we can shove it down? I'd say shove it down here. Put it down there? Yeah, we'll just okay. shove it underneath here because it's one of those things that we won't use a lot. Mm -hmm. So, okay. yeah, there we go. All right, so now we got the multimeter put away. Yep. The shovel on top, just because, honestly, we're in that time of the year right now. <laughs> Even if it's sand, you know, like what we kind of deal with out here, definitely want to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. So got this guy here. I don't think we're fitting this in there. I don't think so either. I think the hammock for sure mm -hmm. can go right in here with the hammock straps that they have. Mm -hmm. And then of course, the thing that we use probably the most, Ooh. you'll want to, <laughs> you'll want to probably diagonal it. Let's see if, oh. We might not fit. Oh no. Well. We use it the most so we won't have to open it as much, maybe. Ah. Oh, I think. Hold on. Go this way. Yeah, but then the hammock. So I'll put this underneath and put this here. There we go. I can figure this out. You can. I'm a good packer. <laughs> you're great packing, but you're ADHD for other things. No good. Woo! Oh, I know. Tell me about it. So this is kind of... What we have packed, I'm surprised it all fits. I am too. So and then we can probably shove this up here. I don't Stick think. Keep it. We can try. I don't know if that'll work though. Why not? We'll see. It'll work. Yeah. And like this can change with the seasons too, right? Or if like we're noticing we're not using stuff, but mostly what I want to do at some point, and it's hard to do with the Revels because of the rack that's on top of the van. Yeah. We'd really like to get a Pelican case to put tools recovery gear things like that up there but that's also in the elements so yeah. this is kind of like a serve all for us so hopefully this will work really well so we'll get this closed and it's got spring load latches which is great yeah also you can obviously lock this too there's pins like where if you wanted to lock something like this you can do it's kind of similar to like a pelican case too mm -hmm. where you can put a lock in here if you wanted to they're also spring loaded which is kind of nice with it the is. latches so with that but it doesn't seem to really be pushing on anything no. so there we go so I'm only impressed. thing yeah me too the only thing is we didn't get our two pillow in there that's fine so let's go see if this will fit where we think we need it to fit Let's see if this bad boy fits. The way the way that we need it to fit. Yeah. Which so, side is the? This side. This side goes yeah. to out. Out. Okay. Yep. Look at that. Woo! I'll take it. That's awesome. That looks so much better. So it definitely fits just like we need it to. We might remove this guy at some point, but then this way I can just pop this, pop that one, and open it, grab what I need, grab a fire starter, grab the ax, get into whatever we need to, or we can just pull it straight out and pull everything instead of digging. So we can just pull this out, dig through this, and it'll just make it easier to clean out the van too. So I'd say that's a success. Close that down, push that in, push that one in, and it's all set. And then we've got our propane right there, we've got our fire can, got our chairs over there, got our snow peak right behind here, and then our table right there in Chansey's bed. Should work out. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it all fits great. It's a lot more organized. Now we can put more stuff on top of it too because it's a hard surface like you said. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, triples as a chair for when we forget our chair while we're camping. I know. So. <laughs> and it's dog vomit proof. Yeah. Which has been a thing. <laughs> yep, so Chansey will go to throw up. She's only done it once. Thankfully and we know what happened so that's never going to happen again but she decided to run from her bed all the way to the back doors and throw up on everything like 
three times? Four times. Four times. And we left the campsite at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. It was pretty rough that day. So yeah. we will give you an update on how that is going and how that's working for us. We wanted to show you guys we got it. We loaded it out. What well, we've put all in ours. It works. It's small. I think a lot of people expected it to be bigger. I know you expected it to I be did. bigger. I expected it to be quite a bit bigger. Yeah. Yeah. And the other one that we did look at that Pelican has released is kind of their camping case too. It was too big. Mm -hmm. When I when I did the dimensions for it, I wouldn't have been able to open the lid. It would have stuck out. It was too high. So the Yeti for the bed and the Revel being all the way down looks like it's going to work great. Mm -hmm. So hope this was helpful for you guys. If you had questions about it, leave it down in the comments. We'll give you updates as we keep camping with it and let you know how it goes. Other than that, we will see you guys on the next one.